okay so let's take a look at how you can install WSL so basically WSL allows you to run Linux inside Windows so if you check the official documentation you can see that it requires specific Windows 10 version or Windows 11 so build 19041 is what you need with Windows so in my case I already have the updated version so what I will do is instead I will go and then open terminal as administrator right so once we do that we will have terminal open where we are going to run WSL command so this command let's wait for PowerShell to give me access to the prompt meanwhile let's type in WSL dash dash install so this will be the first command that we will add after that we will have to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux with specific set of features so here you see virtual machine platform will be downloaded and installed then we'll also take a look at what are some of the other distributions that we can use so here you see it allows you to install distribution name so WSL double dash install dash T you can add Debian Ubuntu or any other specific Linux distro right then you can also take a look at the documentation links on official WSL page right and then there is also one specific command that you can copy paste so that you will be able to run both old and new features right so let's wait for this to finish now here you see by default it will try and download Ubuntu right so let it download and finish the installation so the next time when we run WSL it should log us to Ubuntu by default right so after this what we'll do is we'll run one more command and we will try and uh, enable the feature and that would require one restart which we will try to do and then again we will try and uh, enable virtual machine then finally we will take look at which version of WSL we have it installed right so there is command for that which is WSL double dash list right so here you see Ubuntu is being downloaded once download is finished it will try and uh, run it so here you see it doesn't actually download that big ISO of desktop instead it will download the server edition of Ubuntu right so here you see requested operation is successful changes will not be effective until system is rebooted so next thing is we'll have to take a look at okay now here you can see it also had some of the manual installation steps for older version of WSL so if you are going to download that you can also run this particular command right it does not require a start because there is this flag slash no restart so if we run the terminal as administrator so we will be able to run this command right you can then go on and also finally run enable virtual machine feature if it's not enabled right there is also one installer for kernel update right so you can download that i already have that so what i will do is i will simply run this after that particular command so let's copy this and then run this sorry it seems to be taking the double lines so now hit enter and if it's already installed it won't be 
requiring for the installation but for now it will just enable the feature now once this particular feature is enabled we can move to checking whether we have our build version that matches with the recent WSL2 so currently I have the most recent version of Windows 10 I can check it through the settings right so if you want to you can go through that now next thing is making sure you enable virtual machine feature so for that let's copy this and open it within PowerShell that runs through admin access run this okay now this feature is also enabled now what we can do is we simply download this kernel update package and we will install it right so next thing run this particular installer and once we have that we can reboot the machine right so it says download the package right run it once the completed you can then set your WSL and you can use this particular command right can also make sure to check the setup it has completed the installation right now what we can do is we can see if we can run this command let's clear this and then run this command and here you see uh, WSL operation completed successfully we have WSL set to version 2 right we can also check the current version through WSL list command right so for list command what we can do is WSL double dash list then dash verbose right so make sure those are this okay so here you see we have ubuntu installed but current state is stopped and it is set on wsl2 right so now we will move to our uh, ubuntu installation so once we run wsl's command for a particular distribution so let's say wsl then we run that distribution so wsl then dash d and then ubuntu if i hit this it should open the window finish the installation that was going on and then it will finally give you the prompt where your ubuntu installation will be finished and given access to ubuntu terminal okay after restart you will find that windows is going to resume the installation of ubuntu and it will show window like this that says installing this may take few minutes okay once this particular installation is finished we will go back to windows subsystem for linux version 2 so that we can install it and also enable its respective features with virtual machine so here you see it is asking you to add a unix username so type in the name that you want hit enter then it would ask you for passwords as well so once the password is done hit enter so it will tell you that password updated successfully and now you are connected to ubuntu 20.04 lts and also have this prompt that shows ubuntu right so if you have installed neofetch or something you can also get the system information or you can simply check ls and see if there are any directories to view currently i don't have anything so i will have to create directories and install stuff to view that now to exit out of this 
simply type in exit and it will close the window now let's get back to 